Steffi, and I saw this awesome pin on Pinterest. It was an American flag wreath made out of handkerchiefs, so I wanted to make it. So, stay tuned to see how we're going to make this. Awesome. Go away. See you in just a minute. So the supplies you're going to need for this wreath is an 18 inch wire wreath. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or really any craft store. These are easy to find. You're going to need six of each color, red, white, and blue, of handkerchiefs. I got mine from Walmart. Um, these were out of the men's section, the pack two, and these other ones were in the purse section. Then you're gonna need something, oh, wait, don't forget your stars. You're gonna need your stars. You're gonna need some way of attaching them. You can sew them, you can hot glue them, you can even super glue them. It depends on what, what type of stars you get. Um, the pin that I got this from, it had metal stars, but I like the burlap one better. You're gonna need scissors and time. <laughs> so. What you need to do is get all your hankies together. So once you have all your handkerchiefs around, unpackaged or whatever, you wanna take them, you wanna unfold them, not all the way, leave it halfway like this. Leave it folded in half. Then take your scissors, and you wanna cut down the seam here. Let's go ahead and cut it right in half. So then you have two pieces like this. And then go ahead and do it to the rest of your handkerchiefs, all of them. So I decided to go ahead and paint the stars white. Just a light little coat so they're just a little white. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we can go ahead and assemble the main part of this thing. So what you wanna do is we're gonna start off with the red and the whites. You wanna get a half. And you wanna kinda just Scrunch it up. Kind of fold it in half. I'm going to go like this. Loop it through. And pull it. Pull it tight. So then it's like this. You want to alternate the red and the white. And try to keep the edges on the same side. So like, we'll scrunch this one up with the serrated edge that way, not serrated, you know what I mean. Try to keep it to the back. Oh, under. And loop it through and pull. Now do that all the way around, alternate, alternating red and white, red and white, red and white. Hands are dirty. I dare not lift them up to the Holy One. You plead my cause. You Now 
Now once you have all your red and whites on and you've left a huge gap, about half, go ahead and start putting your blues on. Just exactly the same way that you put your red and whites on. Seriously, exactly the same way. But try to scrunch it close to them because we're trying to get 12 of these in this little spot. <laughs> Inside, I doubt that you still love me. But in your now that you have all your colors on, just fluff it and move it around to your liking before you put your stars on. Just have it all you know, fluffed out, whatever. Just make it to your liking. And then we're gonna put the stars on in the blue area. Now, if you're sewing them, you probably can put them up here. But since I am hot gluing mine, I want to put mine along here. And I think I wanna put, I'm not sure if I wanna kinda like, bink, 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 bink. I don't know, we'll see when we get to that point. All right, so I've gone ahead and laid them out where I want them. I'm not using all of them, I had like 12 of them, but I'm using seven stars. And I'm just going to hot glue them, just right where I want them to. Just a big old glob of hot glue. Keep them in place, just I think that's my mom calling me. But she's gonna have to hold on for one more star. Hi, Benady. You gonna help mommy make a ring? And one last star. All done. Now we're just gonna let those sit there and kind of cool down and stick. So there is your finished product. Your red, white, and blue flag wreath. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more DIYs from me in the future, go ahead and subscribe and Comment down below. Look at my eyeshadow. I had to match for 4th of July. So, y'all have a good day and peace out, homies. Bye.